We are so excited that, that you came to Tupelo, and uh, we have a gentleman here that wanted to, to, to welcome you to town. Is the mayor around, Mayor Jason Shelton. Oh, one of my favorite people. Yes. <laughs> He is one of our huge ambassadors of the life of Elvis here around the world. He's, he's like David Hasselhoff. He's very big in Germany. He is very big he's in Germany. Germany. You don't even, I was there. I saw how big he was in Germany. <laughs> we were at the Bad Nauheim. That's where we met a couple of years ago. Absolutely. Yeah. Such an honor and privilege to, to see you there. And, um, you know, it's, it's such an honor to have you here in the city of Tupelo. Uh, um, you know, this is something I, I can't think of a better way for my last, you know, as mayor, my last uh, festival than for you to be here as, as our special guest. Oh, that means a lot to me. And I then, think the world of you. Well, thank you. And, and she, let's give her another big round of applause. She's... Thank I, you. I know everybody knows Linda and, and about her, but she is as kind and gracious as any person I've ever met. And I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you. And as mayor, um, if I could. What you got there? <laughs> uh, we're so very proud and honored that you're here with us as our special guest uh, this weekend for the Elvis Festival. On behalf of the city of Tupelo, it's my honor and privilege to present you with the key to the city and, and to say thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have goosebumps. Oh, now I am moving here. Yeah. Dorothy, <laughs> get your things. <laughs> we, but, we, we love you and we appreciate oh, you and, and oh just are so appreciative of you being here and, and spending time with us this weekend. So. It's such an honor for me and a privilege and I was just saying it, it, it's so heartwarming to be around warm southern people that are so hospitable and genuine and genuinely good. Just good good people, good humanity. So thank you. It's, it's honestly my honor. And you're amazing. And this man represents your city so beautifully. When we were in Germany, you commanded so much respect and people loved you there. And he talked about Tupelo in the most loving terms and about all the people here. So you are a beautiful representative of an amazing place. So thank I, I you. I told you I liked her. She's good. <laughs> but you are. Thank you, ma'am. She said that exactly the way you wrote it. It's amazing. <laughs> he didn't even need to write it. <laughs> And I can't wait for you to show Brandon and Brody your team. I'm, I'm so impressed with myself right now. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, I, we're out of time, but there's, there's so much, I, there's a contingent of us here of my generation that would only have talked for an hour about Hee Haw oh. uh, and, and, and your TV career and, and the things that you did as a songwriter. Uh, there's another contingent of young ladies that have been bombarding me on Facebook with, please ask about, that. they are Brandon and Brody oh. fanatics. You have such a great social media presence. You're always, you had a recent birthday party yeah. where everybody of your entire, almost every person of your life yeah. was in one room. You have this amazing ability to even if a relationship is over with someone, they still are in your orbit. I just think it's so important to have enough respect and reverence for that time of caring that you, you never hate anybody, you never harbor bitterness. And I tried to raise my kids that way, that you know, when, when you're resentful and you're vitriolic and you're angry and you're carrying around anger towards someone, you're only hurting yourself. It's like taking poison and expecting the other person to die. I know you've all heard that adage. And I believe that to be true. And I, you know, I, I don't believe in burning bridges. I think that however anyone else behaves, we can't control that, but we can control how we respond to it and react to it. And and we have to just be who we are and, and carry ourselves in the way that, that we are comfortable living with, because you have to live inside your own skin for your whole life, and you met, met, better make it a comfortable place and, and not harbor resentment. So that's, that's been my philosophy. Yeah, it was nice to have David Foster and the now Caitlyn Jenner. That's a whole nother interview. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But well, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> uh, you can feel it in the book. Well, the funny thing is, too, though, I have to say this, that when Elvis and I finally did part ways, uh, part of my reason for leaving was that I wanted to have a normal life. I wanted to have children. I wanted to have a more normal existence. And I thought that I had found my normal with Bruce Jenner, the Olympic <laughs> decathlon champion. So it just kind of goes to show you, that's why the book is entitled A Little Thing Called Life, because you never know uh, um, 
it was, you know, the, the movie Forrest Gump was right. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you bring up an interesting thing because I began talking about the book and, and I always want to end on something and, and say a word or say something about a guest, but I think you wrote something about how to end. And if you would, just maybe a few words to, because I think when you listen to music a lot of times, a song, that sometimes we get caught up in music and we don't hear the lyrics. And you're a poet that has your poetry set to music, but I think your words are so important. Thank and you. Wow. this song, obviously, is so important to you in the lyrics. Which so if you would, just a little thing called oh, Life. The which um, Harper Collins, when we did the book, they, that, this is a song, they wanted uh, to name the book this, A Little Thing Called Life, because they thought it kind of summed up how crazy my life was. And, and I have to do, I say this one time, um, Elvis used, I used to write him poetry, and he would say, honey, this is beautiful, let me have someone put this to music and I'll record it. And in my naivete, not knowing about royalties, I just said, no, it's personal between us. But imagine if I could have written then and you know, known about uh, what, you know, just having that for posterity just to have. And I would have loved for him to have recorded uh, Grown Up Christmas List. It's one of my favorite lyrics. But OK, this is another one of my favorite lyrics. And Aaron Neville recorded this song. And it's a little thing called Life. Um, somewhere near, a baby cries. And somewhere far, someone dies. And everywhere you'd swear there were a pair of hidden eyes. When the moon sets, the sun will rise. And without a doubt, the rain will fall. And then the sky reclaims it all. It's just a simple cycle that happens someplace every day. It's just a little thing called life. We'll never ever understand it, and we can't always command it. The truth is not always plain to see. But never ever underrate it. We should always celebrate it. Every day is a miracle to me. And I'll skip to the last verse, which is, the planet turns and love unfolds. Passion burns and then turns cold. But every day is a new day, another chance to get it right. It's just a little thing called life. And what a blessing life is, even in the hard times, right? <laughs> Thank you, Linda Thompson, from Tupelo, Mississippi, to you. We love you. Thank, Thank you. you. I love you That's guys right. so much. Thank you. And you're going to be back tomorrow night. You have your work cut out for oh, you. Yes. It's not yes. just having fun with me on stage. Tomorrow night, you get to judge in the finals, and uh, good luck. To I'm excited you. about that. And you know, Elvis used to say that imitation is the highest form of flattery. Not that these guys are imitating, but they're all paying such great respect to him, the ETAs. And I don't know of anyone in history who has their own acronym, Elvis Tribute Artist. <laughs> so that's pretty amazing. And these guys are, um, I am amazed at how talented they are. They really are wonderful. So you're in for a treat if you're going to watch the uh, competition. Thank you all so much for being so wonderful. You're all great. Thank you. Linda Thompson, <laughs> we'll see you back here at 7.30 for Friday Night Fever. Cody Dan, David Lee, and Dean Z right here Woo! tonight. And you can listen to a little thing called life on the way out. Thanks for being here.